Hello everybody, thank you so much for tuning in today. My name is Jacqueline and in today's video I will be reviewing and creating this makeup look using the Latte 2 palette from Dominique Cosmetics. But before we get started, and if you're new here, I hope that you will consider to subscribe to my channel and ring the post notification bell so you get to know whenever I upload new videos. Also, come and follow me on my Instagram. And now, if you want to know details about the Latte 2 palette, as well as swatches and comparisons with the original Latte palette, then just keep on watching. So I remember when Trend Mood was teasing this palette and then it was announced that it was going to come on the Trend Mood box and I miss it. <laughs> I completely miss it, but it was okay because I was on a date with my husband back in Peru on one of the most amazing restaurants. Um, it's called Central and I mean, if you are a foodie, you may know about it, but there has been even uh, Netflix, um, dedicated you know like serious about this restaurant and it's one of the um, best restaurants in the world so obviously I was just like you know having a great time and <laughs> I miss my trend mood box but anyhow that didn't stop me to buy the Dominic Cosmetics Latte 2 palette yes it is right here I honestly enjoy so much Dominic Cosmetics I really like their formula i actually like who is christine dominique um to me she seems not to be you know that typical beauty guru out there um and what i love about her is also her work ethic um what she stands for to me it's really important when she launched the lemonade palette such a beautiful palette back at the time I wasn't reviewing any makeup, but I purchased it and I didn't have the time to open it or use it or anything like that. And all of a sudden I received an email from her or from the company telling me that they were going to send me a new one for free. And I'm like, wait a second, I already received mine. And then watching videos, again, I wasn't doing YouTube videos at the time. I realized that they were, there was a hiccup on them formulation some of them were too hardly pressed that they didn't have enough pigmentation and anyhow she replaced it and that to me obviously speaks high about again the work ethic of the person and she is really taking action if something goes wrong or whatever it is and then all the other lunches have been really good for me um, I have all her palettes. There was the Storm palette that came out last year and like I even thought I did my review on that palette and I thought that just one or two of the shades were toppers and then the rest they were supposed to be either mattes or shimmer shades and the shimmers to me is like there's no pigmentation here what's going on and I did my review and Christine Dominique she actually commented on the video and she explained me like no those are toppers and she came to my Instagram I mean like she was just like you know you could really feel that she really loved her baby Dominique Cosmetics that she really stands for it she wants the best she's there to listen to the clients and listen also like the feedback and be there to actually you know answer any questions so i think that that to me just give me you know like a happy you know like a good vibe about the company and it makes me want to like if i like something from them to purchase again and not feel like afraid that you know like oh if i don't like it oh, that's that's your problem you know or if i could i don't know how to use it oh well that's your problem i don't feel like that i don't feel ignored and i think that's super important anyhow going back to the latte 2 palette so this is latte 2 because her first palette was the latte palette and beautiful palette i have it again on my collection the cost of this palette is 42 dollars it comes with 10 shades it's now available actually at sephora and the collection comes also with two lip gloss which I decided to skip on because I'm doing a decluttering right now and honestly I have like 
I'm just drowning on lip products. And you know, like my the biggest thing that I did last year for my channel was actually doing um, live lip swatches. So you can only imagine how much lipstick products I have. So I decided to pass on that. Another thing that I really like about these new Latitude is that they are partnering with St. Jude. So a portion of the sales of the palette itself is going to go to St. Jude. And that, again, you see, like, it talks highly about a person that, that wants to give back. So anyhow, I know, I know you may feel like, okay, are you going to be sincere about this palette? And what do you think? Yes, I will be. But I just want to also address that, you know, my feelings towards Dominique Cosmetics and Christine Dominique herself. I just think that she's you know, a very genuine person and a very kind person too. All right, so now let's go for what you came for. And here it is, the Unicar for the Latte palette. I really like this Unicar. And different from the Latte, the original Latte palette, it came in a sleeve. This one right here is actually a little box. And I really enjoy also the design of her palettes. Like for example, this one right here looks like you know, you had a spill of like a latte or, you know, a cappuccino all over. It, it even has like that texture and that look. In fact, I just recorded a mini clip, a video uh, for my Instagram, and maybe you're going to be able to see it better there. As I mentioned before, the palette comes with 10 different shades. Each of the shades comes with 1.8 grams of product, which is very generous. And usually the eyeshadows from Dominique Cosmetics, they are really nice and good. Now this palette it is made here in the United States and the shelf life is 12 months. Okay, so now let's take a peek of how it looks on the inside. So here it is the palette. Again, very cohesive with the actual Unicar and again that design as if you had a spill of a latte. I just think the shades are really pretty. I mean, definitely you have kind of your neutral kind of tones right here, and then you have this pop of colors that is actually really reflecting on what it was the original Latte palette, which I have it right here, that it was kind of like the same idea, the same concept. You have your very neutral tones, warm tones, you know, and then you have here your pop of colors. So let me just put them here right next to each other so you can really see that they will even work really good together. Also the palette comes with a generous size mirror and then on the mirror it also has a little note that it says every day is a fresh start. I'm kind of enjoying these kind of like little messages in the palette. I think Scott Barnes, he did the same thing on his palettes and I think it's just nice, you know, kind of like these uplifting kind of messages on your makeup while you're doing your makeup. I think it's super cute. Okay, let's go now into swatches. Cafecito Satin Rust Red Brown with Gold Flakes. Coffee Bean Deep Brown Matte that doubles as a contour powder or bronzer. Café con Leche Warm Pink Peach Matte that can be used to correct darkness. Frothy Matte Cream Shade that doubles as a brightener. Blonde Rose, Matte Warm Yellow, Drizzle Metallic Bronze with Silver Flex, Ice Coffee Metallic Chocolate with Gold and Silver Flex, Frappe Pale Pink with Silver Flex, Strawberry Milk Rosy Pink Matte that doubles as a blush, Matcha Matte Pale Green. I also wanted to mention that this product contains talc and another thing that I caught my attention it is that Christine Dominique, she's promoting this palette also kind of like as a face palette. Basically, she's saying that this product right here can be used as a bronze contour type of shade and then this as a blush. And then she's also promoting that frothy is kind of like a brightening powder. To me, for my skin tone, will not work, but maybe perhaps for those who have a lighter skin tone and then the strawberry milk as a blush and I purpose didn't put any blush today I only have my foundation bronzer and concealer and I'm just gonna 
go ahead and play with the strawberry milk right here and apply it as a blush. And that's the amount of pigmentation that I got from it. So I'm just gonna tap some out. Just put a little, ooh, ah, that's a really sweet kind of pink shade. Okay, that's really cute. Pretty shade because it's not too pink. At least on my skin tone, it just makes me look kind of like sun kiss. Okay, my friends, so let me get you closer so we can get started on the eye look. So I only have concealer on my eyelid. I'm going to be using this shade here called Café con Leche with my Sigma E25 brush just to set my concealer, basically. And I'm just going to apply it all over the lid. Synergy Classic Crease and the shade Blonde Roast that it actually looks like my shirt so it's gonna be perfect and i'm just gonna take it above the crease so i'm gonna take that shade and put a little bit more on my outer v and kind of blow it out there sunny g soft shader and strawberry milk i'm gonna apply it here on my outer v Sigma E42 brush and cafecito. I'm just gonna deep it out just a little bit, my outer V. Synergy Builder Pro, the shade Drizzle. Refer to brush Blonde Roast. And I'm gonna take it on my lower lash line. Sonia G Flat Definer and Coffee Bean. I'm gonna take it very close to my lower lash line. And I'm gonna put it also on my upper lash line, just kind of on the end. And I'm just gonna flick it a little. Refer 3 Brush Frothy. And I'm just gonna put it a little bit in my inner corner and on my brow bone. I'm gonna take this shade Frappe and it has the glitter in it i'm just gonna put it like right in the middle it, yeah it does have glitter sparkles okay i'm just putting it right there in the middle of my lid okay friends let me finish my other eyelid off camera and i'll be right back with you okay my friends and now let's go into the comparisons between latte palette the original and latte 2 palette Cafecito Latte 2, Hazelnut Latte 1, Coffee Bean Latte 2, Mocha Latte 1, Café con Leche Latte 2, Caramel Latte 1, Frothy Latte 2, Vanilla Cream Latte 1, Drizzle Latte 2, and Macchiato Latte 1, Frappe Latte 2, Crumble Latte 1 Ice Coffee Latte 2 Espresso Latte 1 Blondie Latte 2 Pumpkin Spice Latte 1 and Strawberry Milk Latte 2 So in comparison I think these are the shades that are you know like family from Latte 1 to Latte 2 so you can see that both of the palettes will complement each other really well because of that color story. So if they were all in one big palette, everything complements super well. I think I have a pretty well idea about this palette and its performance. Um, the only two shades that I didn't use today was this iced coffee and then the matcha. Yeah, matcha. I didn't use that. Um, I was thinking to put the matcha on my lower lash line or even on my waterline. It will look really cute, but I have something to do today and just don't want to be too colorful. Um, so anyhow, I really like how the eye look turned out today. I, I feel fairly confident about it. I will say a couple things. Okay, first of all, the shade Frappe, this shade right here. Um, I couldn't find anywhere in the palette or description that it has glitter. And I'm not too crazy about glitters. 
I like the look of glitters and maybe if I go out, which I don't match anymore because because it's just life how it is, you know, I'm married, I have children. And I'm not saying that you cannot go out with children, etc. But it's just it's just harder, you know? So I don't go out that much as I used to and therefore I really do not use much of glitter. I love how the look of glitter, but I'm not too crazy about it. And I wish, it seems like the trend is not going away, you know, like that companies are putting glitter on their formula. And the glitter that I see right here, I it's cute, but it goes everywhere. Um, I apply it first with a brush and then it drips down. And it's not a complete mess because it's very finely milled, but I will rather don't have it. And I will have rather to know that we had some glitter on the, on the palette because glitter particles, you know, they are really not meant to be to use on your, near to your eye area. Because if it goes inside your eyes, it could damage your retina. And I mean, it had happened before to people and it's unfortunate and it's a decision that you have to, you know, take at your own risk. But I think nowadays that palettes and makeup in general are more accessible, at least in this country, also for the younger crowd or just simply, you know, to everybody. And there are some people that they don't have a lot of um, knowledge about different makeups like you know like formulations for example that they have all pigments and that they can you know stain your eyelids and uh, things like these with glitter that you know like it your I think I would have rather not have a glitter shade I love the shade I would have rather for it to be a metallic shade just like these right here drizzle that's that now these shades right here, they are different. Um, now this one has a lot more red in it and honestly, also in the swatch, at least on my skin tone, because that's something also that you have to take in consideration. On my skin tone, um, it shows a little bit more of the purple undertone that it has in it and it's not my most favorite. I would have rather for this palette to have a true neutral brown shade um a little bit lighter than this one kind of like a transition shade because there's no transition right here and i mean if you're a mixer you can mix you know with this shade and this shade right here and try to get it to you know to blend it in a way that it looks like a transition not that you need it but it would have been really nice being the latte palette. I'm not saying that the color selection is not right, but I would have rather seen, for example, this shade right here, as you were able to see, it doesn't show my skin. So I like it, it's very pretty, and I know in um, very fair skin tones or either you know very deep skin tones, it will show more on my skin tone doesn't show. Um, because I do have the original latte palette, I think, you know, it, compl it will complement really well my latte palette and I will be able to achieve that. And, you know, if you have another palette, a neutral palette, you may have that transition shade that I think this palette lacks of. Um, but if it's the only palette and it's your first palette, you know, I just wish to have that like I said, that transition shade that is a little bit more neutral and not as dark as these two shades and not as light as these two shades right here. This one without the glitter, this is a beautiful color. I really like the suggestion of a blush. It looks really cute, really pretty, kind of like a sun tan. Um, the only thing I will say, I had it to build it up a couple times when I was blending it with this shade right here because again, this shade pulls a little bit purple and it kind of like, um, because I don't have also a lot of space on my eyelid I kind of lose a little bit of this shade and I had it to kind of like reapply a little but pigmentation is there this shade right here is beautiful beautiful pigmentation you know, like a gradient on my eyelid that it looks kind of like a sunset so it looks very pretty I think the entire palette it's very pretty I like the color story like I said just a couple adjustments right there 
I mean, shouldn't say adjustments, but you know, my feedback, my honest feedback. And this shade right here, although some people may think that it's totally off, I see that you can do an eyeshadow look completely with this shade right here. If you want to top it up with this and just use the lighter shades, like even with this one, and like I said, even the eyeshadow that I did today, you can put just a little bit of that green shade at the bottom of the la uh, lower lash line or at your water line and it will look super pretty. It's just, it looks very pretty. I don't, I didn't have any fallout, um, no patchiness at all. So that's, that's a good sign. And the only, the only thing that I did have fallout is obviously with the glitter shade from it right there because it was the glitter that was falling out. Okay, so that's that. And then in comparison with the uh, Latte palette, the original palette, you see right here how you have this caramel shade right here. And I, that's what I'm saying, it complements each other, but you needed something like that. But anyhow, um, the shades between the Latte and the um, Latte 2 palette, they are not very alike. I mean, they are not exactly the same. They are within that, of the the color family but they are not exactly the same by any means um this shade right here called hazelnut has a little bit more of that red um undertone in there but not as much as the shade cafecito okay friends and i think this is it for this video i hope that you really enjoy it that you find it helpful I love to read through your comments, so please leave your comments down below. Have you grabbed this palette? What do you think about it? While you're at looking at the description box and leaving your comment, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. It's very simple. Under this screen in red, it says subscribe. Just tap in there. It's completely free. And if you don't want to miss any of my content, make sure you ring the post notification bell. Make sure it's well tapped in because otherwise, YouTube will not let you know whenever I upload new videos. If you like this video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. Also share with somebody else that may like this type of videos. Come and follow me on my Instagram. And until the next time, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.